Your friends are scrolling through short content, but you, my friend, you're here to learn. Welcome to Yara's Clips. The core purpose of Gayatri Mantra is to dhiya ha yaha naha prachodayat. Dhiyo yo na prachodayat. Dhi, the buddhi, that intellect, the mind. Prachodana is to stimulate it, to lighten it up. So to do that prachodana of the dhi, dhiya ha yaha naha prachodayat. You are worshipping who guess sorry doing a quiz kind of it you are worshiping the sun deity in yeah. gayatri mantra so savituhu varenyam bharga om bhuhu bhuvah swaha tat savituhu varenyam bhargo devasya dhimahi dhiyah yah na prachodaya this is the split no there is this thing called anvaya krama that you do when you try to understand any shloka or any thing in sanskrit because in sanskrit that is the flexibility you need not necessarily have a b c d e that specific sequence of a sentence construction you can jumble the words along with uh, around in a sentence without changing the meaning in most yeah. of the sentences mm. so this one gayatri mantra is accessing the varenyam bharga the highest source of energy in for our life as we know it here to access it so that it propels our minds forward it's a download of knowledge from the highest form of energy no down knowledge i don't know but it is accessing it it's like you we all have it within ourselves we are products of the sun's energy mm. activating it and seeking it to propel our minds forward okay it's a way to create a deeper connection with the sun yes in order to access higher forms of knowledge of our own capabilities of dhi, capabilities dhi is not always around knowledge dhi this buddhi is intellect as it's generally understood but perception let's okay. take um, that so, which holds say when the sun is setting or sun is rising it's a good yes. time to do a gayatri mantra absolutely absolutely what if you do it at night i mean you can do it but the it's highest it's not as effective i mean there is mm. what if you work out and uh, it's anything you have you do it something you want you do it well right There's a technique. What if you draw, do. but you draw it with a wooden stick? Okay. You still draw, but it's, it's, the question is understood. Kind of, uh-huh. Got it. So basically, to get the maximum benefits from a mantra, yes, you follow the rules around it. My question is: Okay, we are propelling ourselves forward through the Gayatri mantra. Hmm. Is this different from an Omkara? It is towards Buddhi and the Dhi, Dhiya ha yahana prachod, and it is seeking a specific deity for a specific purpose. The Bhuhu Bhuha Swaha. is the sequence of uh, planes of existence loka has they are called bhu loka bhuva loka and swar loka so in that sequence of going from the gross to the subtle may this glorious radiance of the sun propel us forward so it is seeking a very specific deity of or, or that energy of the sun for a spe- very specific benefit similarly mahamrityunjay mantra they are all very specific benefits or ganesh mantra krishna has a very tantric mantra uh, so there are very specific and shyamala and stotras so if you want to empower your capabilities of learning you access you use a spe- specific yantra you chant that specific mantra you you worship that devata not because there are some four armed creatures sitting up there they are symbolisms of how of what that nature of human ability is mm. and it is there in our physiology because it is an aspect of creation and this mantra yantra and the devata represent that in a physiological in a diagrammatical in an energy sense that is what you are empowering so if you enjoyed this video make sure you check out this playlist for more videos just like this it's the artist clips